Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins, where we have finally arrived at the River Nile. I mean, this over here is obviously a lake, but it's connected to the Nile, so it counts. And we can also see that this is a very compact version of Egypt, because I can see the lighthouse of Pharos in this direction, and what I assume is the Mediterranean Sea. And in this direction, I can see the Great Pyramids of Gizeh. <laughs> and obviously, in reality, the distance between these two is significantly larger. But it makes sense to shrink the map a little bit, or actually a lot for this, so you can put all these um, important landmarks onto one map, um, while still preserving this open world feel. And in the end, all the previous city-based maps were reduced in size as well. It just didn't feel quite as obvious as it is in this case. But okay, um, we have a little town over here, or village or whatever. And I believe there's a number of quests in that place. So we're going to check out this place a little bit before we move on with our main mission. And yeah, let's... Yes, See what exactly we can find here. I mean, it looks like we have some kind of temple over there, probably. I see some obelisks as well. Also, I think I should get out of the reeds. It seems to slow me down a little bit. And I mean, this over here looks like they're actually like farming lotus flowers. Oh, and. We have another kitty over here. Look at the kitty. Now, apparently you can't really interact with them, but they can interact with you if they choose to. <laughs> I mean, this one doesn't really seem to be interested in it. I mean, she seems curious. Maybe hoping for some treats. Yeah, don't meow at me. I can't really do anything, I'm afraid. Oh, and maybe I should send my uh, eagle away because <laughs> the eagle might take uh, an interest in the cat. Look at that. The cat is actually following me. And there's another one. Look at the cats. Well, they really like Bayek, huh? Hello, kitties. And I'm getting totally sidetracked from my objective. But they're so adorable. Look at them. <laughs> I have no food for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can't give you anything. So, let's move on. Um, want to reach that temple. Yamu. Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. Okay, so it is a temple. Ambush in the temple. Meet Manahat the priest at the temple of Sekhmet and Yamu. <laughs> Let's hope he's not dead. I mean, the quest name is a little bit disconcerting. And now a new cat has arrived. <laughs> well, apparently the cats really like Bayek. Also, look at this interesting irrigation machine or oh, apparatus over here. Nice. The cat's still following me. Yes, I would I would love to give you something to eat, but I can't, which is breaking my heart. Anyway, um I, I did get a new quest, so maybe that's what I wanna do next. Um Ambush in the temple. Bayek visits the Yamu temple to catch up with his old friend Menahed. Arriving in the village of Yamu, Bayek pays a visit to his old friend Menahed at the temple. Alright, let's do it. And is there like 
any viewpoint in the vicinity. Um, yes, there is, and it's actually next to the temple. So I may want to synchronize this while I'm here. And then I can check out some of these quests. But yeah, let's uh, maybe do the synchronization first. That's always a good way to start. And it looks like we have some proper road over here, so I'm <laughs> going to use it. Temple of Sekhmet and Yamu. Alright. Uh, so this is the lion-headed warrior goddess and not its tame cat counterpart busted. And yeah, I can see the temple. Some obelisks and <coughs> statues in front of it. And a lot of children. Look at all the kids. <laughs> all right. Um, what's the best way to get inside here? I also want to have a closer look at the obelisks. Ah, huh, okay. They're not entirely smooth. I mean, they still could be made out of one piece, but I guess they could also have been put together from various parts. <laughs> but usually the obelisk were made out of one stone. Um, yeah, okay, the viewpoint is over here. But yeah, just look at this place. This is so pretty. I love how colorful everything is. New location discovered. Hypostel Hall. Okay, but first I gotta get up here. <laughs> Can I climb the statue? <laughs> this seems to be somewhat <laughs> blasphemous. I am sorry, great goddess, but I need to get up here. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Location objectives. Find a nearby hidden papyrus. Okay. So we got another one of these riddles, presumably. Anyway, let's synchronize and then we will check out the actual temple. Alright, let's go down. And let's go inside. Again, there's so much stuff going on here and it's all so colorful. I love it. Oh, look at this guy over here. Playing a bit of music. Well, beautiful, I guess. <laughs> Good work. Anyway, apparently this is our friend over here and he seems to be fine and I'm not really seeing any ambush, so maybe my worries were unnecessary. Unless the ambush is still arriving later. But yeah, let's talk. He seems to be a priest because he has one of these leopard skin uh, outfits. Bayek, what good fortune! I thought it would be years before we saw you again. Hail in peace, Menahet. How is your family? <laughs> the children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have our hands full. And you, is there any news of... None. I forget myself. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by your garb that you have been promoted. Ah, yes. The High Priest, in his grace, made me his second. And my rank is not the only thing he has changed. You must see the temple. You will Let give me a tour? Of course, of course. At the moment of your pleasure. I would be very much interested in that. Speak to Manahead to start the tour. Yes, please, show me the temple. Ready to see our beautiful temple? Yes. After you, Manahead. Or is it 
Servant of the goddess. Menehet will do for one as good as family. All right. Far from the sorry ruin of my last visit. Yamu now plays constant host to ceremonies showing our rustic way of life. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, you are back. On with the tour. Which attract many visitors with more gold than sense. Uh, a description well suited to Alexandrians. How does this sit with your faith? I confess that my thoughts are sometimes uneasy. Okay. by a gang of ruffians, huh? Silent as gifts. Uncle Bayek! Uncle Bayek! Hello, Uncle. Jewels of my life, why have you left your mother's side? Pick me up, Uncle Bayek! Ah, see now, there's no need to attack a man from behind. We're not numbering him four to one. Huh? You taught us to secure every advantage possible over a tender's four. Well, she's yes, not wrong. Yes, yes. And I am very dangerous! Is, all, is this the ambush? Hide well! For the wanderer stalks your path! I guess this is supposed to be the ambush. So it's all pretty harmless. Find Menahed's children. Find Soros. Find Nyla. Find Hasina. Find Keba. And apparently, I can cheat by using Senu and find uh, the children this way. Seems kind of cheap, but I guess I'll do it. So one of them must be very nearby. All right, there we go. That's one of the kids. And one is somewhere over here. Playing, all right. And another one is over here. It's not the one that's in captivity, right? That would be weird. And another one that's playing. All right, so um, that's all four of them. Oh, I can totally see this one. So maybe that's where I'm going to start. Yeah, you're not hiding all that well. It's just behind the column. You found me! Your turn to hide! Come away from there, Nyla. You're getting in the priest's way. Alright. So I found one, but... I, I gotta find uh, the other children first before I can hide myself. That's how it works. Nyla, are you following me? You might get lost without me. It's a big temple. Good point. So, let's see, um, I guess this would be the closest one. Also, one of them is somewhere upstairs, that is weird. But yeah, um, what's the best way to get... Your father wants you to go home. <laughs> and I prefer to stay with you. Yeah, home is boring, right? This is much more exciting. Okay, one of them must be around here. Oh! Oh dear, um... Are you going to sleep at our house again? Ah, uh, not this time. But I hope to pass by and visit your mother. What are you doing inside here? This doesn't seem safe. Well, let's go down here. Keba! What in the name of the gods are you doing down there? I wanted to hide, but now I can't get <sighs> back out. I'm scared. Stay calm. I will help you out of there. Okay, well... I guess you've been hiding a little bit too well. So how do I get you out of here? Can I like carry you and climb up the wall with you? Oh, break through the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. This way. Ah. Through the tunnel. Alright. Thank you, Uncle Bayek. Go straight home to your mother. 
She will be worried. Right. So, I hope you will be able to find your way back. And I still have two more children to find. And I guess uh, the other girl went home as well. That's probably for the better. So, let's move on. I'm sure oh. Soris is hiding near the animal cages. He likes to pretend that he's a gladiator. <laughs> so she Soris didn't go home. Soris will be better off with opponents his size. And now she's giving me hints. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, one of them might be somewhere... Do you want to hear a secret? Over here. Yeah, not if it's about your father. Oh. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. If you tell me. All right. Is it in here? Oh! Oh! What the hell? Oh no! Oh no! There's a hyena! Careful! Careful, little boy! Get out of the way! Gotta Stay back! Kill the hyena! That was close! That was very close! Um, where did the boy go to? I hope he ran home. The girl's still with me. She doesn't seem to care. But yeah, that was very, very... Um, Oh, what the hell? I was just about to say that was very reckless. This is even more My reckless. My sister always sneaks up to the temple roof at night to look at the stars. Yes, I can see but that. don't tell anyone. The priest would be so angry. <gasps> These children are all reckless. Okay, um, we gotta get your sister down here. Um, right. I will climb up here now. Nyla, please don't follow me. I just gotta... Get to your sister. My father is never at home these days. Why not? He has too much work with people coming from all over. <laughs> well, I guess life of a priest is busy. So, what are you doing here? This is dangerous. So, will you come with Asina, me? You must come down from here. Please. This would be a good place to watch the stars. I guess Only so. the priests are permitted here. You know that. Yes, but I want to see... Ash, <laughs> come down now. We can watch stars from the riverbank. I can't wait for the... Also, That's the last of the children. How did you get up here? I will tell Menahed that the children are safe. <laughs> there must be like an actual uh, way to get up here. Oh, there's like a stairs over here. That makes a lot more sense. I thought the child actually climbed up here. Anyway, what is this over here? Oh, you who are responsible for the eternal stars that burn in front of Ra, prepare the way for Una so that Unas can protect us from the fierce and forbidding forces of the night. Alright, seems to be some kind of religious text. And... Speaking of which, um, let's try to get that papyrus while we're at it. As a matter of fact, I may want to put a marker on it so we can collect it. Um, I don't know. It seems to be somewhere up here. Okay. This place is just full of... Hieroglyphs. Look at this. Ooh, what is this? Yep, this is stuff I can pick up. Finally found some loot that I can steal from the temple. Um, okay. The papyrus is not up here, but it's not all the way down either, I suppose. So where exactly is it? Can I can I see it from here? Uh not really, so I guess I gotta go down and try to find it. <coughs> oh please. Please go down. <coughs> yep. Oh, there's something over here. Is this a papyrus? Okay, fertile lands. A few hundred meters northwest of the temple of Sekhmet and Yamu, which resides by Lake Mariotis, there is a great place to go for a date. 
I guess they're talking about the meeting and not the fruit, huh? Full of palm trees and surrounded by desert. I mean, it could be the fruit. You can go there and pick up dates. One rock fence was built and closed off with no exit. Okay, find me there. Full of palm trees surrounded by the desert. Okay, so it's northwest of the temple. That shouldn't be so difficult to find. Northwest. I guess it could be this place over here. It's full of palm trees surrounded by desert. It's northwest of the temple. But um, I guess I will not go there just now. Um, instead, let's go back to Manahead and tell him that his reckless children are safe. And maybe look around the temple a bit more. Um, I hope I can drop down here. Okay, it's actually not that deep. I like that all the people are like doing different stuff, you know, praying and stuff and not just walking and standing around. Oh, I think we have like the inner sanctum in here. Maybe I should be a little bit more respectful and not run around all the time, but walk slowly. Now let's have a look at this. Yeah, this must be inner sanctum. Let's show some respect and bow down as well. Yeah, this looks really nice with all the colors. Also, I thought it was kind of amusing that the priest Manahed called this place rustic. I'm going to assume that's what the Alexandrians, who are very, you know, Hellenic, very Greek, uh, call this place. Because the Greek had a very ambiguous relationship with the uh, Egyptian religion. As I mentioned before, some Egyptian gods actually became pretty popular <laughs> outside of Egypt. But there were also some uh, Egyptian religious practices that were maybe a little bit too foreign and exotic for the Greek. And the widespread worship of animals or, you know, gods that were part human, part animal was certainly among it. I mean, it's not like the concept was entirely unknown to the Greek. I mean, Zeus would turn into a swan or a bull, but he wasn't worshipped in that form. Or you have Pan, who is like half goat. Um, but again, Pan was also considered to be a rustic god. You know, he was kind of a whimsical, weird god for rural, simple people. There were no actual temples dedicated to Pan. And I think uh, some of the, you know, Egyptian cultish practices um, were regarded in a similar fashion by the Greeks, you know, in a sense of, oh, look at that, they worship cats, isn't that cute? <laughs> so, yeah. But it should also be noted that the Ptolemaeans, for example, while they did stay pretty Hellenic in culture, they actually did build and restore quite a huge number of Egyptian temples to Egyptian gods and in the traditional Egyptian style. So even though they themselves um, more or less maintained their culture, most of them didn't even speak Egyptian. Um, Cleopatra is said to be the first uh, Ptolemaic ruler who actually spoke Egyptian. They did, you know, try to win some favors with the population and they were not entirely unsupportive of Egyptian native <coughs> culture and they also adopted at least a few customs uh, of Egyptian culture like taking on an Egyptian throne name for example and when they commissioned statues they had some that were in the Greek Roman style but they would also you know make portrayals in the Egyptian style so uh, while they were still very much Hellenic, they certainly supported Egyptian culture as well. As a matter of fact, a lot of the best preserved temples that we have uh, these days are those that were built by the Ptolemaeans, because they are basically the newest ones. Anyway, um, I guess Manahed is over here, so let's go and talk to him. Look at this! Fraud abounds in your market. And you claim you can do nothing? 
The dealings of the market are beyond me. Speak rather to the offending merchant. <laughs> Priest, you have proven as false as your mummy. <laughs> Uh, it's funny that he mentions the fake mummies because I did talk about it a few episodes ago that, you know, some of these cat mummies were not real because there weren't enough dead cats, so they just sold fake ones that were just filled with parts of cats or no cats at all. So, uh, yeah, let's talk to him again. Manahat, your brood is delivered safely home. Indeed. Thank you, friend. Uh, what did that fool want with you? Some visitors having purchased religious objects are angry when our village has no more dead cats to serve them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Though not a merchant, I am often the means by which the aggrieved snuff their anger. This matter needs a firm hand. Okay, so am I actually going to do something about the fake cat mummies? <laughs> but okay, we finished this quest apparently. Ulterior votive, meet the merchants in the Yamu market. All right, let's have a look at that. In response to a plea from Menahead, Bayek investigates the sale of false religious icons in the Yamu market. Yeah, apparently it's about the fake mummies. Menahead is worried about the false religious icons sold in Yamu's market, sullying the reputation of both the priesthood and the festival of Sekhmet. He explains that much of Yamu's prosperity is based on the festival, which attracts visitors from all over Egypt. All right. So, in this case, it's some merchants selling the fake um, icons and not the priests themselves. Okay, I guess I will just uh, continue with this because um, it's kind of funny that this comes up as a quest so early in the game after I already talked about it. So, let's check out our objective over here. And apparently I have to do some investigation here. Some merchants might be willing to speak of the false icons. Oh dear. Someone is very desperate. Oh, this must be a different quest. I will... I will talk to you later. These cat mummies are false! Okay. There's definitely something going on here. Alright, um... I have to investigate, so I guess I will How dare you try to trick me into for this nothing but straw in here. Greetings. I am You have come to the right place, Neb. We have everything you could possibly want. What I want is to ask about false idols sold at the market. I have heard rumors of such, but there is nothing to them. Now leave hmm? if you want to avoid trouble. Is that a warning or a threat? I can't tell. These cat mummies are false! Okay, yeah. They are selling fake cat mummies. So, are you willing to talk to me? I won't pay one drachma for this. Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahed sent me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Uh, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. Mm -hmm. They are forced to sell items of lesser quality. Or see our stalls destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. Okay. So, I guess this might be a lead. The merchant is on his way to the farm. Speak to the merchant outside Yamu at night. Well, it is about to get night. <laughs> and these people are really, really angry. Um, let's get away from them. So, where exactly would I have to go for this? Okay, it's over here. Um, sure, let's just continue with this. I mean, it is almost night and I can just skip time if I have to. So, let's quickly head over there. Also, I may have some stuff to sell, um, but it probably would be better to do with it. Blacksmith over here in case I want to upgrade something. So maybe I'll do this while I'm here inside the village. How can I help you? Um, first of all, let's sell everything unnecessary. Um I mean this low value stuff I will probably just dismantle. But you can take the one that has slightly more value. Um, alright, I guess. 
That'll be fine. And yeah, I mean, this should count as night, right? So, pretty sure if I meet this guy now, it will be late enough. Okay, apparently the merchant has just arrived at his farm because now he's waiting for me. So I guess um, it's definitely late enough to talk to him now. And we have more irrigation equipment over here. All right, so let's talk and tell me about the fake mummies. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <sighs> it is a beautiful night. Hm? Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind the traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Okay. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. Okay. Oh the well, this this is an ambush. All right. It. I guess. This one's a worthy fighter. Gotta his take care of these guys. Get the All right. One is down, and so is this one. So what about you? Are you going to attack me as well? Oh, who is who is attacking the cats? Huh, that was weird. Uh, uh, a man who fights as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting. <laughs> Talk. That's a good point. You will meet the same fate as your friends. That will not be necessary. Among the dunes southeast of here is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made. I suppose you would go and destroy it. Yeah. Now. Better I smash the camp than your head. As a matter of fact, I may have already uh, destroyed the camp. If it's the one destroying these forgeries will earn the favor of the gods that I've seen earlier. As Ra lives, what a disgrace! Although, what happened to the cats? Why are the cats dead? This is terrible. Huh? I mean, these two guys are people I killed, but this one, for example. I only killed two people and there's three dead guys and a number of dead cats. This is strange. It may have been the poison from my blade. Did they become um, collateral damage? <laughs> that is a problem. But okay, um, let's check out that camp and I'm going to assume, yeah, it's the one that I've already cleared. Now, someone actually mentioned that, that, you know, these bandit camps uh, may be connected to a quest, so I probably shouldn't uh, deal with them until I get the quest. But I think I recorded that episode before um, I saw the actual comment. So I guess I will have to deal with this camp again. Which shouldn't be that difficult. All right, let's get on top of these dunes. Yep, it's the same camp. Um, and is it exactly the same soldiers or bandits? I believe that last time we had at least one that was level 8. Doesn't look like he actually respawned. So, these are slightly lower in level. Alright. Let's do this. And 
I guess I will start with a guy that's all on his own here. Let's see. Can I headshot him and kill him with one arrow? No, I don't think I can. In that case, I won't even bother. Alright. Okay. The rest of them haven't noticed. And at least some of them are sleeping, which should make this easier for me. Destroy the cache of false religious icons. Well, I mean, I just accidentally killed a few cats, so you can probably uh, take them draw attention here. and make more mummies. <laughs> um, okay, it looks like most of them are sleeping, and there's this one guy who is awake. Hey. Oh, well, um, yes. I need to remember that my arrow can light stuff on fire. What are you doing but I mean, there's also a nice diversion, apparently. There is no escape! Alright. And, well, these guys I can just... <coughs> take out while they sleep. But you should be glad about that, because now you're actually going to stay alive. Okay, now I have to destroy the religious icons. Okay, I'm just going to smash them with my sword. Let's be quick about it. Pick up my loot as well. Um, okay. There's more over here and I will take ammo. Menahead will rest easy. Yep. No more fake cat mummies, and I can take a few dead cats for mummification to the temple, I suppose. <laughs> so, um, now I have to go back all the way, um, but I suppose I can speed this up a little bit by fast traveling. Let's do it. Alright, let's go down here. Oh, sorry! So, Menahet, where are you? There's still a few worshippers inside here. We have a lady playing the sistrum. But where is Menahed? Over here? Okay, I think I found him. Ah, here you are. Yes. I have dealt with the trafficking of false mummies. Thank you. Alright, let's talk to him, I guess. <laughs> How can I ease the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isvet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. <laughs> the high priest will judge me responsible for his actions. I absence. sense another quest coming up. Look. Yep. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. Okay. Pamu does like a drink now and again. Uh, so I guess I will look for this Pamu guy and hopefully I can convince him to come back. Oh, and I did get uh, a new upgrade. So um, maybe I should do this first before doing anything else. As a matter of fact, I should have a number of points available now. Yes, I have three of them. So I think I'm going to take this over here so I can dismount my enemies. 
And I guess this is going to be useful as well. Hold shift and left mouse button to charge your heavy attack. A fully charged heavy attack will shield break tower shields and knock enemies to the ground. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to change my gear, but I may want to dismantle some stuff. Lady of Slaughter, Yamu's recreation of the battle between Sekhmet and Isfet is jeopardized by the absence of Sekhmet's fighter and it's up to Bayek to help. So we're going to track down this guy and hopefully he will come back to fight in this important festival. Also what is this over here? There's like an exclamation mark. I want to check this out. Oh, it's pretty far away though, so I guess it's just like maybe another quest or something. Um, okay, but this one will have to wait. Let's at least try to find this Pamo guy. Um, it doesn't seem to be that far away. Objective in proximity called Senyu, okay. Yes, then you will find them. Find them for me. Okay. Got him. And what is this over here? Oh, it's it's just the the entrances. Don't really need them at the moment. Huh? Oh, um, this is not the best way to get out of here. <laughs> Alright, Pamu, what are you doing here? Oh, well... This must be Pamu. This doesn't look Ugh. good. A man stinks of beer. Who is he supposed to fight? Uh, do I have to carry you back? I guess I have to carry you back. But even if I carry him back, I don't think he's in any shape to fight. So I'm going to predict that Bayek will have to take his place. And we will find out if this prediction is correct in the next episode. Because I think I'm going to end it here. And we will continue this quest in the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching. And see you again next time.